You're watching news tonight and welcome back. With Superstar offering his Raghavendra Mandabam to fast, the Chennai chapter of Team Anna is all set to fast from here and offer its support to Anna Hazare, who's going on a three-day fast followed by Jail Bharo. Here is a story on it. Take a look. So, ek tarik, jail bharo andalan. Jail bharo. Anna appealed to a mammoth gathering at Chennai a week ago. Is Chennai really ready to answer Anna's clarion call? Mumbai, the new epicenter of Anna Hazare movement, is all set to roar with him. Chennai is also gearing up to fast and fill the jails. From the Raghavendra Mandapam to start with. One of our volunteers suggested why not ask uh, Mr. Rajinikan to see if he can give us this uh, Raghavendra Mandapam. So we called upon them. And uh, today morning we sent an email to Mrs. Lata Rajinikanth and uh, she was gracefully agreed to give us this venue. And we are quite grateful for that. Uh, uh, it's in a very good place uh, to conduct this event. And uh, we thank them. Around a lakh people have registered for the Jail Baro Andolan from all over the country. But only 2% of those registered are from Chennai, which interestingly is one of the two cities Anna Hazare has addressed outside the capital. Political parties are now split over the nuances of the Lokpal bill. Political commentator Cho Ramaswamy says Anna Hazare is fast and Jail Bharo is frivolous. Consider it as a funny thing. Because, um, you see, in uh, Chennai and generally in Tamil Nadu and I think in other states also, uh, whenever somebody is arrested for uh, agitating or uh, uh, going against the 144 order, they are kept there for a couple of hours, not even in jail, perhaps in a Maidan where they are sitting and released in the evening, asked to go home. In the meanwhile, they will be supplied with some snacks and tea. That is the practice. If 1,500 volunteers offer themselves for this, I don't consider it a great piece of sacrifice. I consider it funny. His movement has not so far effectively produced one single result. He is not an anti-nationalist. He is a Gandhian uh, working for anti-corruption charges and he is working on anti-corruption. So we are uh, still we support him. Congress should immediately act immediately so that this uh, uh, Lokbal bill is tabled immediately and accepted in the parliament so that it could prevent the agitation. Well, key regional issues like Mulla Periyar and Kudam Kulam still on. Team Anna's India Against Corruption Chennai has organized for a protest fast and jail barrow. While the Mumbai High Court has slammed Team Anna over the venue issue, Superstar's offer of venue has come as a pleasant surprise for Team Anna. Will there be a superstar effect? We will have to wait and watch. With camera person Raja Singh, this is Hari Haran for NDTV Hindu. For some news on hope, Indian scientists have for the first time coaxed ordinary cells to behave like cells of the heart muscle. Stem cell research is making big inroads in India and experts at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore have been able to recreate the way muscles of the heart behave. This research has great potential and could well be the solution to offer spare human organs being available on demand, literally off the shelf. NDTV Science Editor Pallava Bagla has more. These are no ordinary cells beating rhythmically like a heart. These cells have been artificially made to believe that they are muscles of the heart of a mouse. So what do they do? They beat at a regular rate as if they are pumping blood, doing it continuously forever. Scientists at the stem cell laboratory in Bangalore have spent seven years and 70 lakhs to understand the mysteries of this complex life phenomena. And now, they can replicate these at will. And by understanding this, we should be able to have uh, uh, implications in how this could be utilized effectively in a, in a clinical setting. This team of scientists, for ethical reasons, can't work on human cells. So they work on a mouse model. From living mice, they take out adult cells, culture them in artificial conditions, then using chemicals trigger them to behave like heart muscles or even brain cells. In the test tube, the cells mimic the basic functioning of the organ, but the scientists have not been able to recreate full organs just yet. The excitement is immense as the therapeutic promise is mind-boggling. 
the research has huge potential since in the future it could pave the way for human stem cells being used to make spare kidneys, spare heart or even a brain or more simply used to repair tissues damaged say in a massive heart attack. Cutting edge research in India. These cells are mimicking how the heart cells of a mouse behave, beating rhythmically exactly the way the heart functions. But these are not heart. India will peer into the future and sometime soon there could well be artificial hearts made from cells like this. But that could be many decades away. In Bangalore, with camera person Kumar, Pallav Bagla for NDTV. That definitely sounds like an interesting development in the field of science. Conquering death does not seem quite far away. Moving on, Anna Hazare is all set for his protest fast tomorrow as parliament reconvenes to debate the Lokpal bill. Anna Hazare has left for Mumbai from his home in Ralegan City. Preparations are on in full swing at the MMRDA grounds in Mumbai, where Anna will undertake that three-day fast beginning tomorrow. Large crowds are expected to gather there. Ahead of leaving for Mumbai, Anna Hazare hit out at the government and said that the government is not keen to see a corruption-free India. Congress walo ko lagta hai ki hamare virod mein yeh andolon ho raha hai to bataiye. 25 saal mein ham kab aapke virod mein andolon kiya? एक बार दो बार तीन बार 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 कहने पर भी करप्शन के ऊपर कठोर कानून नहीं बनाते हैं मजबूरा ने आंदोलन करना पड़ रहा है सत्ता से पैसा और पैसा से सत्ता इसमें मशगूल हो गए लोग Look at Anna's health. Even three days is not safe. And when Anna is running a viral fever, we don't want it. I'm so glad that Anna didn't announce indefinite. Otherwise, he would have sat indefinitely. This is all about mass awareness. आम आदमी के पास वोट लेने जाते हो, लेकिन जब आम आदमी आपको बुलाता है, तब आप नहीं आते। तो आप अपनी आप मर्जी से अपनी जगह जाते हो, अपनी जगह बना के पूरे सिक्योरिटी के रेंज में लगा के जहाँ आम आदमी आपसे कोई प्रश्न ही ना पूछ सके। then a massive agitation has to continue because this will be a big dhokha on the on the people of this country. Pranam Mukherjee said in Kolkata that the government is aware of the issues raised by Team Anna, but the final shape of the contentious anti-graft legislation would be decided by the Parliament. Virapa Moili echoed the same remarks. We had several rounds of discussions with Sri Anna Hajare and his team. We know there are two points, but it is for the parliament to decide what would be the final shape of the legislation. We have brought the legislation for the considerations of the House. Let us see. I cannot make any <coughs> premature comment what would happen, how the members of the parliament will respond to various provisions of the bill. We have definitely made it more stronger, not only more stronger, I think it is more and more than 200 percent the proposals have been incorporated. There is no reason. No, no, it is all right. You know, it's, a, it's an argumentative India. The ultimately, it has come now to the, come to the parliament. Parliament, the parliament wisdom will definitely agree with this bill. Of course, there will be argument. That is why we have fixed three days time. With all of Melbourne's cricket following fanatics flocking to the ground, Day one of Boxing Day test was more than just a fire starter. The details in a bit.